old come back. In between the parts, I decided to go off and explore the labyrinth a bit more, get all the map explored as much as I can, just so we could see if we missed anything, etc, etc, get some leveling up going, you know, the usual stuff. But there is now a witch report, so let's go see what this is about. Dusk Theatre Company. Puppet show. Hmm. This is the story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Do, do I have to press anything? I assume so. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who were slaves to a greedy demon. The demon forced them to do hard, grueling work. It could have used its magic to easily finish the work, but the demon enjoyed making the brothers suffer. Ah, true demon. One day, the brothers tried to make their escape. But the demon chased them down. The demon said, Hmm, idiots, did you think you could run away? The poor brothers were caught and received terrible punishments. The demon said, That's it, time for a whipping! Don't try to run away again, or I'll carve out your eyeballs! The brothers knew they would be killed one day. This is gonna end up with them losing their eyeballs, isn't it? And after talking it over, they decided they would kill the demon first. One day, the brother stole one of the demon's most cherished gemstones and ran away with it. They planned to use it as bait to lure the demon to the well, then push him into it and kill him. But the demon didn't care about the gemstone at all, and the brothers were captured again. The demon said, Oh no. Idiots! Did you think you could run away again? The poor brothers received a terrible punishment. I mean, he did say he'd carve out their eyeballs. The forest trembled as the demon's laughter echoed through the night. Yeah. And so ends this story of a terrible demon who lived in the forest. Oh, what a, what a, what a lovely story. <laughs> All right. Having finished selling refreshments to the other children, Luca returns with a beaming smile on her face. Uh, so, so did we? It was lovely. This is a pointless farce, but I suppose it's necessary to keep up appearances. Good day to you, Madame Dronia. I came to see your puppet show. Your performance was splendid. No, no, not here again. You're not here to molest me again, are you? Yes. Mariette removed her habit and pressed her hands together, as if offering a quick prayer to any god or gods watching. Why such talk in public will only lead to misunderstanding. As a servant of God, I'm beholden to my vow of chastity. Uh huh. So what was last night about? Or whatever night it was. Chastity, huh? Whatever you say. Indeed. <gasps> How rude. I'll have you know, I was working the fields this morning for the good lord. And as I was returning, I happened to overhear that you had opened a theater. Ah, oh, yes. I got a lot of potatoes today. Please stop by for a meal. 
I'll cook up some boiled potato rolls. Hell no. You like big potatoes, don't you? Luca likes potatoes, not me. Hey, you're gonna be doing this show all the time. A little boy, older than Luca, but not that much older, ran up to Dronya. Why, why do we need that detail? But all right. Hey. Hey. Hey, lady. Yes, little boy, we'll be performing shows every so often while we're in town. I hope you'll attend again. After finally getting Dronya's attention, the boys suddenly become shy. Wow. Then I'll come see it again. But next time, I think you should tell a happier story, because today sucked. The, the story didn't suck. It was a great story. Lady Wit. I mean, Madame Dronya made it up herself. She did, she did. Take it back. It was quite disturbing. What are you getting mad for? Just because it sucked doesn't mean it wasn't interesting. Hmm, it's a fair point. The little boy is suddenly shoved aside by a soldier. Ouch! Hey, you! What are you doing here? Mariette runs over to the little boy and helps him to his feet. But she's worried what she was going to do. What? We're not doing anything. Another one's coming. Marietta, get this kid out of here. Oh, Marietta, sorry. Yes, that seems wise. All right, let's go, Fritz. Madame Dronia, please be careful. Mikhail and Frank have a reputation for being difficult to deal with. I see. Luca, check on the well. Y yes ma'am! Hey, I'm talking to you! What are you doing here? I'm putting on a caravan puppet show, obviously. Don't act like you don't know the rules. No one's allowed near the well of Kalaza. I apologize. Ever since we arrived in this town, we've just been focused on entertaining the children. That being said, we've already been given permission to perform here. What? From who? I have received permission from Acting Governor Petrone. Is that so? Then show us your permit and we'll be on our way. Permit? I never considered the need for a permit. And it's so obvious, too. What was I thinking? No permit, huh? That seems pretty suspicious. Why, we might have an actual witch on our hands. I mean, how do you jump to that conclusion? Let's go! You're coming with us! One way or another, you're gonna tell us who you are. We just did. Mikhail reaches out, I think that was it, reaches out to apprehend Dronya. Hey, don't touch me! Yeah, she's a bit skittish after what happened recently. Hey, I haven't even touched you yet. Huh? Whoa, check out her leg! <laughs> What's up with that? The soldier grabs Dronya by her prosthetic leg and starts yanking on it. Oh, dude, what is your problem? A wooden leg? What are you, some kind of scarecrow? How pathetic! <laughs> Maybe we should do a cavity search. Find out if the rest of hers made of wood too. Whoa, not here. A crowd had begun to gather around Dronya and the soldiers. Huh? Oh, yeah. On your feet, woman. You're coming with us. Very well. Let's go to hell together. Dronya raises her hand and her eyes glow an eerie, eerie, very, very pinky color. Huh? What are you doing with your hand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mikhail and Frank, was it? If I must accompany you, so be it. But not before you patrol the city for seven days and nights without food or sleep. Like loyal little soldiers. Oh, they are dead if they stay out at night, aren't they? Y yes We better get started on our patrol. Seven days and seven nights, huh? This is gonna be rough. With the commotion calmed, the crowd disperses, some shaking their heads in disbelief at what they just witnessed. 
Gotcha! I let my anger get the best of me and used my glamour in public. Still, it worked like a charm on those soldiers. I can glamour anyone into doing my bidding by manipulating the latent mana that surrounds them. Well, we gathered that. No need to explain it. Only other witches have been able to resist it, but it has never failed to work on a normal human. I wonder, do those soldiers also know about the underground labyrinth? I thought everyone here did. I need to be more careful. My glamour is powerful, but I can't become dependent on it. Madame Dronia! Madame Dronia! Tracti's back! Hello, I've been leveling up. I'm now a more powerful book. Dronia flips through the pages of the Tracti. Tracti, I think you might be taking this a little too seriously. What? You don't need to get so worked up over the twists and turns down there. I do. If you're at a crossroads and you don't know which path to take, just pave your own path. What? If a wall is low enough, go over it. If it's in the way, destroy it. What? Your mission is simply to conquer the labyrinth. You're going to give me some bombs or something like that and just blow up walls? How you complete your mission is irrelevant. Do whatever you must to produce results. Oh, very well. Let's see. Now that we've mapped more of the labyrinth, we must soon devise a serious plan for conquering it. The underground labyrinth is really this vast? A sprawling labyrinth tucked beneath that well. <laughs> mm, needed a bit more of a payoff towards the end there, but mm, you're getting there with your evil laugh. Of course! I can't rely on Tracty alone. I need to do my part to produce results too. I just heard you doing your naughty laugh, Madame Dronia. You're thinking about doing something bad. Luca, I wrote down a list of things I want you to buy for me tomorrow. Huh? What's all this stuff? What are you going to use it for? Explosions! You'll find out soon enough. Also, Tracty, I'd like you to bring me ten units of high-quality saltpeter. I think I do have that. If my hypothesis is correct, this town is not what it seems. Meaning what? Just wait. I'll expose your true nature. Oh, but before that, hold on, Tracty. Dronia produces a quill and begins to write something for Tracty. There. Now you can destroy walls. Remember, do whatever you must to produce results. <laughs> <laughs> You learned the Tracty skill, Wall Destroy! Now you can destroy walls in the labyrinth. Smash them up good. Through Witch Petition, you can make requests of Madame Dronia in exchange for mana. And she will grant those requests. You can ask for many things, such as remaining puppet soldiers, renaming even, or learning Tracty skills to help you explore the labyrinth. As the story progresses, you'll be able to make more requests for specific, specific things. To start off, I recommend that you request to find more items. This will let you find hidden items inside the labyrinth. Check the witch petition screen often for any new requests you can make. Oh, there we go. Oh, find ten high quality salt peters. I got them petters or something, didn't I? Something like that. A new witch petition has been added. Oh, wh wh why is it why is it even coming up then? It's like if I've already done it. Um, a feds force during battle use RF to raise a puppet. Oh, we'll have that. Another tracty skill. Um, defense force again, same thing. May as well have it. Like, what are these ones though? Increase the difficulty and reduce the difficulty. It's like no, no, I won't be doing that. It just seems like a bad idea. Witch report. Dronia, I got all the stuff you told me to buy. 
So I'm assuming this is where I've actually got the um, salt peters, etc, etc, etc. Whatever they're called. Give it here. Let's see. Lead, iron scrap, copper plates. Mm-hmm. That's all of it. What you gonna do with all this stuff? Oh, I've got something in mind. But to make it, I'll need a lot of mana and an alchemy pot. I could commission a tinker to make an alchemy pot for me, but... Uh, Luca, did you see any tinkers in town? A tinker? <laughs> then hurry up and go find one. Oh, wait a minute. A visitor. Yes? Who is it? It can't be anyone good. It's just this game so far, it just can't be. Pardon me, but is Madame Dronia here? Yeah, there you go. It's Klaus. Oh, hello, Mr. Klaus. Yes, Madame Dronia is here. Ah... Klaus, what brings you here today? Did you bring our permit? Because that would be very helpful in future, because that's bound to happen again. My master sent me to check on your progress. How goes your exploration? Tell your master that the exploration is proceeding as planned, and that he has nothing to worry about. Here, take these back with you. Jornia grabs a bunch of items that happen to be lying around and gives them to Klaus. These are the spoils of our most recent exploration. I'm sure your master would like them right away. As you wish. You seem busy, so I suppose I will take my leave for today. Oh, yes. Uh, there is one question I wanted to ask you. Yes? Yes? Does your master have an alchemy pot at his shop? It's a type of cauldron which is used to perform alchemy. An alchemy pot? No. To my knowledge, I have never seen anything like that. Yes, we've never heard of anything called an atelier. After all, you are the first witch to visit this town. Sorry, Atelier. I see. Then can you deliver this letter to your master for me? Certainly. I will see that he receives it. Now, if you'll excuse me. I will not excuse you. An advance progress report. I'm sending it now so he doesn't whine about it later. So what are you gonna do? I wanna know! Tell me! I'm going to blow up the well of Kalaza. What? Ah! You can't do that, Madame Dronia! All the miasma will flow into town! What's your point? The labyrinth is already connected to the surface through that well. So what's the harm in making that well a little bigger? I mean, they're getting killed by zombies or something anyway, so it should be fine. Remember those soldiers with the weird bird masks? They had fragrant herbs stuffed into the beaks. If those idiots think a little potpourri will protect them from the miasma, they're in for a rude awakening. But... 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 Anyway, weren't you supposed to find me a tinker? Oh. Maybe a soldier. It's also a spy. Hmm. Not sure. Not sure about anything else, though. Stop wasting time here and go find one. Maybe a tailor. Or else I'll turn you into a donkey and make you pull my caravan for the rest of your life. Ah! I, I'm going. I'm going right now. And as for you, Tracty, get back to exploring. Chop chop! Oh, very well. Luca ran as fast as her little legs could take her to the downtown district. <sighs> Who is this? Wait, we're not... I don't know who that guy was. I don't think I can make any new puppets at the moment. Just I do feel like I... Should be able to make a new puppet. I, I want a new puppet. It's like, no, oh, I want a new puppet. Because I've, I've seen pictures where you can have, like, loads of puppets. And we've just not got them yet. Right, dispatch anyway. Let's head down there. 
Achoo. Now loading. But yeah, I was informed apparently there isn't an option to basically see the turn order. I do need to repair Linda, but I haven't got any items to repair her at the moment. Other than silver coins, I don't really want to use them at this point. Let's use the reinforcement skill you just learned. Wall breaker. Face the wall you wish to break and press R1 and circle. Make sure you have enough RF to spend before you do this. Oh. Walls are color-coded, and certain walls can't be broken. Check the minimap before you waste RF trying to break an indestructible wall. How do I... On the map on that picture, it doesn't look like it's a different color. Other reinforcement skills will now be available to learn through which petition. Oh, I know. Using which petition, you can learn the Tracty skill Treasure Hunt and start breaking walls to look for hidden items. If you haven't learned Treasure Hunt already, I recommend you do so right away. So, it says there's a different color on the map, but it clearly looked like I could smash this wall on the map, so... See, now, now it goes red on the map. Okay. You can learn... I know... Glowing spots are true. I know! This is stuff I learned a while ago. Okay, so... It's very confusing right now. Like, actually can be sold in town for silver coins. Okay. Treasure points refresh when you exit the labyrinth. Okay. But how do I know where else I can go? In terms of smashing things. Oh, it's kind of interesting. Kind of want to go down just to see what's down there. Like, there is nothing down there, but let's do it. I fall. I could just die from the fall here. The brigade receives damage from the fall. Right, so where did we end up? Right in front of a chest. You need the... Oh. Huh. So we have ended up somewhere that's... It's just one level down, but it's in a spare I'll little room. The floor with you. Indeed. Oh, tutorial. Reinforcement offense and reinforce defense. There are two types of reinforcement you can apply during battle. The first is reinforce offense, which increases attack. R1 and square. Yeah, you get the idea. Activating these effects will consume reinforcement, but they can be applied to each coven. Attack and defense can only be increased up to three times in this manner. Okay. In the formation menu, you can use Reinforce Defense to restore the health of your puppet soldiers. Press R1 to display your brigade. Then select the puppet you wish to heal and press the X button. Defeat puppet soldiers can even be revived with 1 HP. Now this may require lots of reinforcement. As you make your way to the end of the labyrinth, keep your puppets healed so they don't get destroyed. Well, I'll try. Reinforcement can be used outside of battles and is a valuable tool for conquering the labyrinth. Most reinforcement skills can be learned via which petition after progressing the story. Okay, so... Didn't want that. That's what I wanted. Uh, lamp, fog. Um, insight. Uh, rock crusher on you. And instant aid on you. Uh, engage. Get it together! Hey! Ow! Get ready! Hold on, hold on. Right, so... Mud fling. There. Inside, we'll... Use that everywhere, obviously. Um, it's an aid on yourself. Get it together! Go! Get ready, here I go! We got that echo, finally. <laughs> right, so... Mud fling. She's the one that was working. Not sure. The inside's done enough there. Uh, we'll guard, guard self now. Um, we'll go the wind cutting blade. And still the instant aid on yourself. Hey. Get it together. Get ready. Go. Got it. There we go. I won. You did. Lovely XP. Bow to me. No. Okay, so we want to... It's like, what do we need again? The Campanala key. But we'll make a hole. So we can get back here easily. 
Okay, so let's uh, oh no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted the map that I can't remember how to get to. Oh, it's down. All right, looks like there's a area I can go here, just below me. So we'll go there. How to get a battle? Yep. All set. Let's go. We'll just go normal attacks on this guy. Yeah! Shroomkin right starts thrusting. Victory is ours. Indubitably. Only 22 XP. Rubbish. Okay, so. If you can't leave the lab room, you'll have to give up. Press options to give up. Why are you telling me this here? This feels really wrong. So any place there's a gap, it's like... I just want to see. Let's see, I need keys again. Ding! All set. Let's go! I'm just gonna go with normal attacks here as well. Here I come. Just waiting to see if it dies now. Here I come. Got it. Ooh, that got destroyed. I won. Indeed. Okay, so destroy walls to create new entrances and exits. That's what I've been doing. It's like, boom, we're getting a battle. So any problem with that? It's like, I need to get out of there. Another battle. Let's go over Lamb Fog. And an attack. And I've run out of... Oh, God. Um, instant aid. Boom. Get ready. Get it together. Let's go. <coughs> ah. God. God damn you. Should be enough to just attack it and kill it. There we go. We won. Indeed. To me. But no, I, it is clearly thanks to me. I think you'll find. But oh, oh dear, oh dear. I'm going to cover all the map here. Um, I'm going to see if there's anything in this little hole bit here. Again, keys need keys. Uh, right. So down. Where can we go in here? There's two places up there. That we can actually go to. Well, there seems to be several places. Like, that guy is blocking the entrance, but if we can go through the wall, we don't need anything to do with a scroll or anything like that. I, was, I feel like I was completely wrong on that, by the way, obviously. The scroll. And needing to get that sorted so I could, um, proceed? I think I just need this now. It's like we've got into the room that he didn't want us to get into. Oh. Should have looked at the floor. The brigade receives fall damage. Where are we? We've got mana, that's something. Really? So many chests. Don't know. Can I break through here? Because I don't necessarily want to go off over there. Hmm. Something like I can anyway. What the? Okay. I'm quite disturbed by all these things that are going on right now. Hello? As the surface of the marsh ripples, an enormous woman appears with a big splash. Uh, humans, magic creatures, I have a way. Looks like we got some uninvited guests, Domina. Oh, Manny. It's Manny and Dario. Here, yeah, Manny, Manny, come, come. What? No, be afraid. Come to Domino. Knock it off, Domino. Humans are bad news. Manny's so small and cute. So small and stupid. Manny don't do nothing. What do you guys want? Did you come here to mess with Domino? No. Didn't even know she existed. Hmm. That's what they all say to get close to Domino. <laughs> Manny's so cute. Cute? That's what you said about Yosuke. Yosuke? I don't know. He hasn't even come back since he ran after Paul out that splinter. What is going on? Yosuke, uh, Archie, splinter hurt, splinter hurt, help Domina. With a painful grimace, Domina recedes back into the marsh. Okay. What? What is going on? 
Isn't this the opposite? Yeah, this is the opposite side of where I've been before. So, like, this is a way back? Oh, okay. Fair enough. Oh, that could have been a bad idea. So, I have been here before. Alright, then. Well, I think this is probably a good place to end this part. And in the next part, we'll carry on exploring and seeing where we want to go. Because, obviously, now we can go to new places because we can break stuff. We can actually find out where we're meant to go. So, I'm going to head out of here and get back to the surface and see exactly where I want to go. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.